hi <laughs> this was my haul from my most recent visit to the Salvation Army I went to two Salvation Armies it is the second week that they are back open they're open on a shortened schedule and um, they're having some amazing sales so I just had to take advantage of it and yeah this is what I got <laughs> Okay, so I have, was horrible about taking a video of my shopping yesterday. Actually, I didn't video at all because when I got in there, I discovered that every yellow tag in the store was a dollar. And then there were a couple that were like 50% off. So the sale was almost even better than it was last week. Uh, jackets were 50% off, but if you had a yellow tag, it was going to be less. So, um, yeah, I went to town. So anyways, I'm Jody. I'm excited to share my haul with you. I'm going to share it with you right here in the trunk of my car, because guess what? When it comes into the house, my kids go through it. They pick what they want. They walk away with it. And then I throw it in the pile with the other stuff and all of it gets. Hey, it's editing Jody. Just popping in here real quick. I was so excited. I really didn't introduce myself. I'm Jody. I am a news anchor by day and I love to thrift by night. I have a great time. I enjoy doing it and uh, it makes me happy. <laughs> so if you like everything thrift and if you like to do thrift flips and if you like to know beauty on a budget, this is the channel for you. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel because we are on 99 subscribers. I'm looking for that one additional subscriber. Actually, I'd love to have many, many more people subscribe. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please subscribe. Okay, now let's get back to the thrift haul. I was so excited. I just couldn't stop talking. <laughs> so here we go. Reminder, everything that has a yellow tag was a dollar. There were others that were 50% off and shoes were a dollar 99 and I didn't get anything. I think I only got one thing that wasn't on sale. So here we go. Start off, I got some blue Uggs. They are a mess right now, but the heels are really in good condition. They just need to, the suede needs to be clean and the inside is really clean too. Dollar 99 for some, some men's Uggs. I can't wait to clean those up. Uh, I also got some um, Champion shoes. They look a little grungy right now because they just need to be kind of brushed up. They're really clean on the inside and I'm gonna wear these. I'm gonna keep these myself. Oh, all of the flannels were a dollar as well. So I got this really cool Wrangler flannel. Very nice, extra large, nice and warm. I got this Wrangler shirt that was a yellow tag for a dollar. I got, yes, we're outside, so if you hear the birds chirping in the wind, it's because we're outside, because I can't bring this stuff inside. I got this cute MLK shirt from 2018. It was from uh, the Capital District a Tournament of Champions. I don't know, it was really cool. I just thought um, somebody would really like this right now. It was only a dollar. Cool. So my strategic goal was to get almost all the jackets that were really cool that had a yellow tag. I only bought something that was really nice and not a yellow tag, unless I kind of wanted to keep it myself. But this is amazing. It is, um, it's not, it's not corduroy, but I don't know what it is. It's by New York and Company. And it's, um, it says plaid lining, other lining, I don't know. Anyways, I just thought it was really awesome. It's, very warm it's quilted on the inside i don't know if i want to sell this one that's the problem is i get really cool stuff and then i don't want to sell it this awesome corduroy jacket from the gap size medium very cute a dollar yeah this was a laundry by shelly seagal seagal and it was originally $12.99, but it's a yellow tag. It's really cool. It's a wool jacket and um, kind of flares out at the bottom. It's really cute. Love it. This is a Old Navy size medium. I just thought it was so cute. I know somebody's going to want to snatch this up really cute. Jacket. 
love the color on the inside with the bright red um they're not buttons what are they called hooky thingies a victoria's secret bra got that for a dollar gonna sell that um some green sweatpants some i don't know what kind of this this brand is but i thought they were cool they're man never heard of them before anyways they're tricolor and i thought that they were really cool well that looks weird right there <laughs> anyways i thought they were really cool is somebody really coming down the street in a mower some champion sweatpants these are size small i believe they're kind of tiny to me yeah small petite the champion really sells well online so i'll put those on my uh mercari this is really cute it is like um almost like a velvety type of jacket it is by regatta zip up very cute so this i passed up the week before because i didn't want to pay 350 for it uh because it was half off last week but it was a dollar yesterday so i got that this was one of the jackets that was not on sale i'm definitely going to keep it for myself it was by uh laundry by shelly sakal again and i just really loved this jacket it's really soft oh my gosh the mowing Anyways, the hood, and it's really soft and silky, and it's like a three-quarter length jacket. I got this, which I thought was really cute. It is, it was not on sale, but it was only 99 cents, and I thought it would look so cute on me. It goes almost down to my ankle. It's got like a little pretty purple detail on the front of it, and it, the slip dresses are all the rage. It might be a little bit too big for me, so I might have to alter it a little bit. But I thought that this would be cute with maybe a jean jacket over it or something. Or even a leather jacket. This is really cute as well. Same thing. It wasn't on sale. It's Secret Treasures. Really cool color. It's not something I would normally wear. I don't, I don't usually wear pastels. But I thought that this would be cute with some jeans or even jean shorts or a jean skirt. And just, you know, kind of like wear it down but wear it up. Oh, this was a great get. Okay, this is a um, Columbia winter jacket. It's got the hood inside. It's gray, it's in great condition, and it was a dollar. I can't wait to put this up for sale. It's in really good condition. Um, I could not believe it. It just needs to be cleaned a little bit, but it's great. Let's see what we have back here. Oh, this cute little leather coat. I thought it's from Deb, so it's pleather. It's not real leather. Um, but it's really cute. Just kind of like a little biker feel jacket. I thought this would be really cute on somebody. This is an old Navy jacket and it's kind of like, it's a double breasted jacket and you tie it in the front. Very cute. And I love the neutral tone of this. So this is great for a spring or early fall kind of jacket or even for school. You know how you go into an office or, or school and it's cold inside. You can kind of wear it over your fit. Okay, I know this is a little crazy, <laughs> but it's corduroy and I love corduroy. It's got all these crazy sparkles on it. You know, I might even rock it before I put it up for sale, but it was only a dollar. And this is uh, Kathy Daniels. It's got it all the way on the back too. It's like an outerwear, like a almost like a almost windbreaker material. But it's by Converse, and I just was like, this is something unique. I've never seen anything like this from Converse, and it's got the belt. It ties up. Very cute, cute, cute. This was another awesome find. This is a Gap jacket. Come on now, a Gap puffer jacket. It is gorgeous. Needs a little cleaning. There's a little, there's a spot on the front, but puffer jacket for a dollar. Like a t-shirt. This one was, was $1.99. It wasn't on sale, but I liked the t-shirt. Great white Cape Cod. Very Brandy Melville type of shirt. So this, I don't know. I just loved it. It was, it was on sale. It was a dollar. 
all the flannels were on sale. It's very country. It's got the pearl type of buttons, but look at the back. It's just really sharp. I can envision my son kind of stealing this for me before I put it up for sale, but it's by Ariat Retro Fit Extra Large. And it's a 2X, but it doesn't look like it, first of all. And it's lined. It's lined with this really super soft lining on the inside, and it's a flannel. I just love the colors. Really bright. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to keep this one for a while. I love it. This I thought was really pretty for work, but it's huge for me. Um, it's definitely a, a very large plus size, but the way it's constructed, I think I might be able to just sew down the side. The color is really good for me, so I might be able to sew down the side. It goes all the way down below the knee, so it's just a very uh, simple sheath dress, but it is lined and I'm not really good at sewing, so we'll see how that goes. I thought that this was a cute jacket. It's, it says it's by Denim 24, but it feels like a real soft denim if it is denim, in fact. This is kind of cute, don't you think? And it has like the drawstring in the middle on the inside of the jacket, so you can make it tighter. I liked the detailing on the front right here. I thought that that was kind of cute. A nice Puma shirt. Love it. This is by Ruffhewn. Ruffhewn. Very nice, it's got like the, on the top. Urban Pipeline. Very nice. So this is a great work dress for me that I got. I don't not like to wear black on air very much because it's really kind of dark, but this has like a gold sheen to it. And I thought that this was really cute and simple. And you know me, when I'm at work, I like to dress in very simple monotone colors. Um, I often choose bright colors, but when I'm at home, I tend to dress funky and comfy and I don't mind separates. But for work, I kind of like to be just very simple. I don't know why I got this. Just, <laughs> I'm not sure if it was the old lady in me or just, I'm being influenced by younger uh, YouTubers that like the old lady look or whatever, but this is so cute. <laughs> and it's a jean dress. It's like a muumu, a muumu, straight up muumu. I wonder if I could cut it short and like make the waist go in and make it look a little cuter, or I could just wear it with sneakers and just like try to rock it out like I am younger. Remember I was telling you I was being strategic and I was looking for those dollar deals. This right here is a monochromatic color two-piece suit with the skirt. I don't often wear this color. I don't wear pastels. I like to wear brights, but I thought, why not? Why not try it for a dollar? Come on. This was another two-piece extravaganza. It comes with pants. This one's for pants. And this is by uh, Notations. These are petite long, or plus long, petite, petite long. So I'm gonna have to take them out or cut them short to make them look like intentionally being short because I am five foot nine and so everything is short on me, especially petite stuff. Even regular stuff is like short on me. And then, oh, this was another good deal. A two piece suit, originally $12.99 but it is, um, it's by Woolworth. Garbage truck. It's by Woolworth. Two-piece suit, love the gray. Love, love, love. And it is a little bit, a size larger than I am. But, you know, sometimes with suits, you kind of have to do it. And I didn't, couldn't try it on. And I'm hoping I was looking at the bottom of this go away and there's about a good inch and a half that I might be able to pull out to make this longer so I'm kind of excited about this is he coming back okay we're back all right so this is a Tommy Hilfiger jacket and um, I got it for a dollar. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can get rid of it. It's so cute. Oh God. 
It's a medium though. Medium, you know, you want a jacket larger than you, a lot larger than you. I'm a small medium, so I don't know. I gotta try it on though, but somebody's gonna love it. It's an awesome Tommy puffer jacket. Three goes right above the knee. Oh, I love it. Okay, this I thought was really cute. It's by Juju. And um, take a look at that. It's just so pretty. It's like a maroon. Let's see, is this leather or pleather? This is pleather. Okay, but still, who cares? It's gorgeous. Look at the back. It's just so nice. And then the collar with the detail. Loved it. Oh, and I got it a half off. I didn't get it for a dollar. So it was $2.50. I got this awesome men's heat coat. It is heavy as all get out it is by um does it actually i don't think it has who it's by i have to find more about it but it's an amazing men's pea coat it's a size 46 it's a large jacket but it is so heavy and check out the buttons the but they're nautical let me show you if i can get really close they're nautical buttons they're so cool and i thought for a dollar this thing was 18.99 i got it for a dollar i mean Somebody's gonna love this and they're gonna get it at a you know fairly good price compared to what they can normally get it in a store and it's brand new. It's it's amazing condition. I don't know why I picked up this one. Um this is by I have no clue. Doesn't even say. I don't know. It's got this weird, like, you know, changing color fabric, gold grayish. And it's a trench coat and it was a dollar. And I think I picked it up just because it was one of the first things that I picked up. It got, actually goes almost down to my, yeah, it's just right above my ankles. Um, I still think you can really style this nicely and maybe I'll take a shot at wearing it before I put it up. I mean, but it's a great lightweight trench coat and um, it is pretty. I just don't know if I would have picked it up last. This was one of the first things I picked up. But that's a lie because I picked it up at the second store. And then this was one of the great deals of the day as well. A Steve Madden coat. And it's got this great pattern on it. And it has what looks to be, is this leather or pleather? Again, I got to check. Pleather. Doesn't matter. It's really freaking awesome. Steve Madden. Beautiful jacket. Um, somebody's going to love this. It was really cute. So... That's awesome, huh? So the grand total for all of this stuff was give or take $100. I spent about $40 at one location and $60 at another location. And um, I got some great deals that I'm gonna keep and some that I'm gonna sell. I'll put my link to my Mercari account down below. And I'm thinking about opening up a Depop shop because I do have a lot of vintage and um, streetwear that I think would sell really well on that site. But for now I have Mercari, so I'll put the link below. If you like this video, subscribe, give it a like, and put on your notifications because you gotta let me know if you wanna see more of this stuff. Also, leave me a comment. Do you like me going thrifting and would you like to see more thrift videos? Um, I wouldn't mind doing it. Actually, I would love to do it. I'd love to have the excuse. People watching, they want, they want me to go thrifting, really. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Thanks so much for joining us. And, well, us, meaning me and the clothes. And uh, here's to next time. Peace, love, and success. <laughs> I don't know how to close this out. I'll work on that.